Good morning, afternoon, and evening. You are listening to the Revolution Health Radio Show. This show is brought to you by 144.me. What's 144.me, you might ask? Well, if you're listening to this show, obviously um, you want better health or you're struggling with your health right now. And Chris and I know deeply about how troubling it is to try to integrate diet, lifestyle, sleep, stress. There's just so many components that go into creating a healthy lifestyle. And so what Chris went ahead and did is he created a 14-day healthy lifestyle reset program. So basically what 14.4 does is walks you through step-by-step, day-by-day, through integrating diet, lifestyle, um, and by lifestyle, I mean movement, stress, and sleep patterns that we all know are very hard to start all together. So if you really concentrate it down into a step-by-step format and get led by somebody like Chris, it can make it really easy to sort of reboot at any point during the year. 144.me already has a couple thousand signups and things are going really well. And uh, if this is something you're struggling with, I encourage you to check it out. So today's show, I'm your host, Steve Wright from scdlifestyle.com. And with me is integrative medical practitioner, healthy skeptic, and New York Times bestselling author, Chris Kresser. Chris, how's your morning going? It's great. I'm enjoying the rainy, rainy fall day here in Northern California. Wow. I don't usually beat you in the weather, but we got sun here in Boulder. <laughs> well, Cal, uh, I think Boulder does uh, beat uh, Northern California in terms of number of days of sunshine a year. Isn't it something like 300 days of sun out there? Yeah, it's, it's above 300. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, that's more like where I grew up in Southern California. But here in Berkeley, we, we definitely get some rain. We don't get the snow you guys get. But at this time of year, it's not unusual to have a, a rainy, kind of cloudy, dark day. Gotcha. It, it's nice. It's uh, we've had a lot of sun and it's feeling good to just you know these these rainy days. Or it's kind of makes it easy to focus and and not be distracted by thoughts of going surfing or you know spending being outside in the sun. So I welcome it. Awesome. Yeah, you can't fight the changing seasons. No. So uh, before we get into this very special episode today, um, everybody is going to want to know. What did you eat to get ready for this episode? <laughs> well, it's specifically this one. Disappointingly <laughs> common breakfast for me. Um, it was plantains, eggs, and sauerkraut, and some coffee with cream. So it was the standard, Steve. Man, it's uh, it's still pretty delicious sounding for a standard. It's but delicious. We'll, we'll take it. You know, we'll and, take uh, it. Late, the, the, I went through a period of time where I was getting really creative with my breakfast, but but lately it's it's been all you know. I, I'm hunkering down, working on a number of projects. So um, that uh, just 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 fuel to get me through the day. I get it. Well, I'm excited about the show today. Clearly, one of the biggest obstacles to adopting a healthy lifestyle is cost for a lot of people. It's not really inaccurate to say that so far, the health and wellness movement has been largely limited to you know middle class and even upper middle class people because the the cost of the food and 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 even you know other kinds of healthy lifestyle products like cosmetics or uh, home cleaning products or things like that has been prohibitive for a fairly large section of the population and uh, you know this is a problem we've been aware of for some time but uh, until now there hasn't really been a, a company that's made a strong effort to address that we have. Stores like Whole Foods, which are great and full of, you know, wonderful products. But uh, as everybody, I'm sure, has heard that the phrase whole paycheck, um, you know, it, it it's an expensive place to shop and it's out of reach for a lot of people. So I'm really excited to have Gunnar Lovelace on the show. He's the CEO and founder, co-founder of a new and really exciting company called Thrive Market that is dedicated to offering these healthy lifestyle products at a really deep discount, uh, often 30 to 50% off of full retail price. And above and beyond that, they have a very strong social mission. It's a, it's a membership based store and I'll let Gennar tell us more about it, but for every paid membership, for every person that signs up and pays for a membership, they donate a membership to a low income family. And I, I just think that's, you know, it's it's really in alignment with my values and which and with what I think is necessary to make this kind of 
these these kinds of foods and and lifestyle products available to a, a bigger section of the population. So I want to welcome Gunnar Lovelace to the show. Hey, thank you guys. It's an honor to be on the show, and um, really, really appreciate that introduction, and excited to uh, collaborate with you both. Yeah. So Gunnar, t- tell us a little bit about how you you know, develop the idea for Thrive and what, what you saw in the marketplace that, that led you down this path? Um, yeah, you know, it was interesting because I, uh, for the first 10 years of my childhood, I grew up with a single mom who has always tried, you know, every different type of health modality and, you know, seeing her as an, as a single mom and seeing how hard she worked to make healthy choices in spite of very constrained financial resources. It it left a very, very strong impression on me uh, growing up. Um, and then when she remarried, uh, she married uh, a great a great man in um, Ojai, California, who was running a food co-op uh, out of an organic farm. And um, it really, it, it kind of exposed me to the idea that uh, when we collaborate together uh, and buy together in a group buying setting, uh, we can access these products at dramatically lower prices. And that, you know, that that food co-op is still run informally today. And as I later progressed in my professional career as a as a technology entrepreneur, interested in social enterprise and and vehicles of social change, I've been studying. Uh, the natural products industry for a number of years and been trying to figure out when the right timing would be be to really propose a model that would allow us to access these products at wholesale prices. Yeah, so let's talk a little bit about timing and and, and just what's happening right now because we know... uh, Yeah, well, I think... Go ahead. I I cut you off, but I was just going to say that I I think to your point earlier in the lead, and, you know, there's there's been an incredible incredible explosion of health and wellness information and access and products that really, you know, really resulted largely from the hippie movement and that that's kind of gone increasingly mainstream and that Whole Foods has, you know, done and really contributed to the development of the market with standards and really helping a lot of early natural product companies grow quickly. But to your point in the lead in, that it really also has been uh, a limiting factor in that you know they're interested in preserving their margins and their business model, which unfortunately only serve you know upper middle class and upper class consumers. Uh, so it's it's really only been recently in the last really three years with Costco uh, coming on so strong in the natural product industry that a narrative has emerged for brands where they can say when they sell their products in a membership community that it's a different different pricing channel that's acceptable to their existing retail channels. So it's really it's really the convergence of those two things that's created an opportunity for us to finally offer these products at wholesale prices. And yeah, in terms of timing, it, it really couldn't be better as far as the crisis that we're experiencing. Uh, you know, uh, 23 and a half million people live in what the USDA calls food deserts in this country. And I know some, some numbers that, that I've seen you know, from our discussions where it's estimated that the cost of 2,000 calories of health food can be up to $14 and 2,000 calories of junk food can be as low as $3.50. So That's right. these are disparities that we desperately need to address because we can talk until we're blue in the face about you know, healthy living and and um, the importance of these kinds of choices. But if people aren't able to make those choices because of financial constraints, then it's just always going to be a hugely limiting factor. Yeah, I mean, I, I couldn't agree more. And I think I think one of the most profound questions that you know I constantly ask myself and I ask everybody that we work with is, you know, why does a product with you know, conventional product with lots of processing and lots of chemicals and lower nutritional density, why does that product cost less than one with, you know, less processing, higher nutritional profile and no chemicals? And, you know, the answers to that are complex and there's a multitude of them, but the primary issue is that 
you know, there's economies of scale achieved in conventional food supply, which means that those products are sold everywhere. And that, you know, has been largely subsidized by um, various types of corporate welfare over the last 50 years. And that our goal with the business through Thrive Market by offering these top 3,000 products at wholesale prices is to really be part of a larger virtuous cycle whereby lowering the price dramatically increases demand, which then further lowers the price in subsequent rounds. Exactly. And then, and of course, that's happened in other industries, and we need that kind of positive feedback mechanism for this to really uh, gain uh, traction and a foothold, which is one reason I'm so excited about this. So let's let's tell, you know, back up, tell us just a little bit of the basics about Thrive. You know, what what is it? Uh, we've been kind of dancing around that so far, but, you know, what is it? How, how do people uh, get involved? What are your plans for, you know, the future? Maybe give us a kind of one-year plan and a three- to five-year plan and, and paint a picture for us of, of where you see Thrive going. Thank you, yeah. Well, I think, you know, we launched uh, two weeks ago with 3,000 of the best-selling products from 500 of the most well-known brands that you would find at Whole Foods and other retail channels. We're focused on non-perishables to start. So if you imagine, you know, in a, like a, a retail, uh, a health food store, the, generally the outer perimeter is like your perishable categories like dairy and vegetables and everything in between is non-perishable. So we're covering all of those categories, whether it's food or uh, supplements or natural beauty or you know non-toxic baby care, all of those categories are covered in Thrive. And so we offer uh, those top 3,000 products and we ship them nationally um, for free on orders over $50. And uh, you know our focus, instead of making money on the product themselves, uh, we break even on the product in the beginning and we charge a membership fee like Costco. So for $60 a year, like a Costco membership, you get access to the club and uh, everybody gets a trial period up front. So they can try it out and opt out if they, if they don't want it uh, at any time. And we're very customer service friendly. And at the end of that trial period, uh, we bill $60 for the annual membership and for every paid membership, we're giving a membership away to a low-income family through a network of nonprofit partners that we're working with. Yeah, that part of it, as I said in the intro, really excites me because you know, a lot of companies kind of pay lip service to the idea of a, a social mission and and certainly offering products at a discount, you know, is an important part of that mission. But in some ways, you could you know it could be said that you're 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 kind of preaching to the choir, but when you're actually offering a, a membership to families that uh, would otherwise not be able to afford it and are not even that familiar with this kind of uh, way of eating and living, that's that's where the real change is possible. So tell us a little bit about how, you know, what kind of resources you might offer to a family like that. Yeah, well, I think, I think it's really interesting. It's an interesting issue in that, you know, we we see the primary issue as one of access and we see access as an issue of uh, education and affordability. So, you know, working with thought leaders like you that really have uh, authentic content and a really authentic connection with uh, a, a large segment of dedicated people that are interested, that's, that's a way that we can uh, really develop educational content uh, and in, in conjunction with that, you know, we're rolling out uh, a content platform at the end of uh, end of December, and it's just going to really, you know, be you know, focus on you know, be an article about the truth about saturated fats and the benefits of coconut oil. Um, then, right from the article, you can access coconut oil at forty percent off, and so really kind of creating a really value add, simple, educational, authentic experience that helps people. And really, you know, hopefully over time, we earn the trust of our members to be recognized as a curated source of these products. Um, and so then I think, you know, with education and then, and then, you know, affordability obviously is the other key barrier. So if one can know about it, but if you can't afford it, then it doesn't really matter. So our, our goal right now with the nonprofit partners that we're working with, and it's a Boys and Girls Club and LA Fund and a couple others that we're in deep conversations with, 
is really to find uh, demographic groups that are exposed and interested to these areas of of health and wellness and uh, help have them help us distribute the membership. So we're setting up in-kind grants. Um, and over the years, we expect to, you know, we, we expect to be able to give away millions of these memberships, which, you know, could be hundreds of millions of dollars of in-kind grant donations to our partner organizations. There's, you know, there's an interesting challenge with all that, though, which is that in the short term, you know, there's going to be a, a slow cycle of adoption because it, a lot of this is new. And, you know, there's a lot of uh, misinformation about health relative to the fact that, you know, in, in more mainstream understanding of health, low calorie and low fat, as you talk about often, is um, kind of understood as being healthy. And, clear, you know, all, everything points to the, the counter of that. But there's a lot of money that's spent on misinformation. And so, you know, there's definitely going to be some challenges that we're going to have to deal with and how we actually, you know, really make it available to people in a way. And, and I think in a real practical level, uh, you know, we're merchandising our catalog so that, you know, we can really provide what we call staples, which are really going to be, you know, more essential products that a lower income family, uh, you know, would use. I mean, you know, when I was growing up with my mother, I, I wasn't really going to, you know, she wasn't going to buy, you know, e exotic dehydrated kale chips for me. <laughs> so, you know, it's going to be like, how do I feed my, my boy in a yeah. way that's not, not toxic? Right, right. So let's, I mean, uh, some people are probably thinking, oh man, another membership. I'm already Costco member. I'm already Amazon Prime member. You know, do I really want another membership? And, um, you know, that of course crossed my mind when I heard about this. And and uh, what I, you know, I just did, correct me if I'm wrong, some back the envelope kind of calculation. And if I figured if I'm saving at the minimum 30%, I place a $50 order, I save 15 bucks essentially there that I you know, would have spent somewhere else. And then if I do that four times only a year, like once a quarter, I've already paid for my membership. That's right. I mean, I think, I think, you know, what's, what we've seen in the two intense weeks that we've been open, that our average order values are about 70, $70. Mm -hmm. So, you know, they would have been spending a uh, hundred dollars yeah. instead. You know, our average discount is about thirty-four percent across the board. So, you know, you figure two purchases, you've paid back your membership, and you got to figure that you know if you're buying these products from us and replacing a lot of the staples that you're using in your normal life, thousands and thousands of dollars a year are spent on these products. So the, this the savings is incredible, and our discount relative to Amazon. Or Vitacost, you know, we're double the discount. So, um, you know, some people think, oh, I can just go get that on Amazon. And yeah, that's true. A lot of times there are some discounts on Amazon. And obviously Amazon Prime is it's great. But the fact is that when you look at it purely from an economical perspective, it still makes total financial sense because our discounts are greater and we're providing a different level of highly curated product selection that is focused on a, a truly healthy lifestyle. Yeah, and that makes a big difference because like with Amazon, you can there's no real interface necessarily to make it easy to find what you're looking for. You know, you just have to kind of type it in. One of the things I like about your site is you have it broken down into categories like paleo or moms or gluten free uh, and you can shop, you know, based on those categories. There's desserts and yeah. chocolate, which I'm shopping right now. And <laughs> turns out if you sign up for Thrive, you know, right now while you're listening to this podcast, you can start buying your favorite chocolate bars at what would be, according to Boulder prices, uh, sale prices all the time. So, yeah, so Steve's already in there buying chocolate. That's how yeah. long it took him. I figured to most of the do. viewers were, or most of the listeners would be thinking about that by now. So let's just talk about what we really are thinking about. Well, uh, I mean, and, and then it's not just food as, I mean, Gennar, you mentioned this, but we've got all the bath and body products. So like Dr. Bronner's stuff and all the botanicals, shampoo, conditioner, facial cream, facial toner. One thing we haven't mentioned is supplements and natural remedies. Uh, you know, that's a, that's another huge expenditure for a lot of people. And of course, baby and kids products, you know, we, we, we've already placed our first order. It was actually closer to a hundred bucks, uh, for us because, it's interesting because I was I was like, oh, I wonder how much we'll use that because, you know, we, we eat mostly just fresh food uh, that comes from the outer aisles, you know, farmer's market and things like that. But then I realized, of course, 
there's ghee, there's coconut oil, there's uh, almond butter, there's, you know, there's all these sort of staples that, that do come from, you know, they are non-perishable products and, and then not even to mention soaps and home cleaning products. And uh, so it was very easy for us to start adding those things to our card and add value. And, and I, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to admit that I, I'm a person that can't stand spending time on shopping and that sort of thing. And the idea of just having this stuff show up on my doorstep and, and, you know, placing a regular order is extremely appealing. <laughs> you you so, can even get your potato starch, your resistant starches in there. Yeah. Yeah. And, and uh, I, I've seen some price comparisons here. I just want to go through a couple that are, that are, are kind of interesting to me, just to give you an idea of, of the, the magnitude of the discount involved. So, you know, like for organic coconut butter from Artisana, it's, you know, popular brand, it's $11 and 85 cents at Whole Foods. And at Amazon, you get it for like um, closer to 10 bucks, Vita costs like 10.79 and at Thrive, it's $7 and 90 cents. And, you know, for, for something like uh, Lydia's Organics Green Crackers, you know, those raw crackers that everyone loves, they're nine bucks at Whole Foods versus $5 and 18 cents at Thrive. So we're, we're talking about really significant discounts here. And I imagine, Gunnar, that, you know, what you're starting with all these products is, is just a beginning. And, you know, I, I know that Amazon started with books and expanded to a whole range of products, but I'm, I'm imagining that eventually we could see a whole lot of other healthy living products here that's right. that, that you're not starting with. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I think, you know, it's an interesting balancing act because we, on one hand, we don't want to uh, pollute the ecosystem with too many options. Um, yeah. And I think we really want to develop being known as a, a curated, trusted source for the best of class in each category. Mm -hmm. um, and at the same time, obviously, you know, we're constantly studying, you know, we have a weekly merchandising meeting. For example, you know, the week the week before was all focused on, you know, adding in a bunch of paleo products that we feel like we're still short on in terms of, you know, gelatin and other categories like that. And then uh, and then, you know, the, the, this last week, it was really focused on, you know, more young mother products, you know, and, and uh, eco lunch kits. And, you know, so we're definitely expanding very quickly. And, you know, to your point, it's not just food, you know, it's, you know, just, just on the healthy cleaning, for example, as, as many people know, the cleaning supplies that we are told to use and sold in conventional food supplies and, and grocery markets, they're, they're highly toxic and we absorb them through the largest organ in our body, which is our skin. And so, you know, and our children uh, interact with them and they cause all sorts of unintended consequences later on in life. And so, you know, we work, we're working very closely with EWG, which has the largest database of, you know, toxic ingredients and in food and cleaning supplies. And that's environmental working group for those folks who aren't familiar with EWG. Yeah, and they have, they have an amazing database. And so we're working closely with the founder, Ken Cook, and their team. And, you know, it's just, I think it's just a really, it's a really exciting time because, you know, there is, there's a tremendous amount of interest from consumers now to make healthy choices, which is causing the ecosystem of companies willing to serve that to shift and to grow very, very quickly. And, uh, you know, I think, you know, something like Thrive Market, you know, and what we're doing, you know, we're going to be able to reach millions of families uh, and really, really, you know, really actually provide a new channel for these natural product companies that don't have the DNA to market online in their organizational understanding and really create a model that goes direct to consumer and cuts out all the middlemen, the distributors, the brokers, the slotting fees, the pay to play games that are done in the standard food supply and instead pass all of those savings along to the consumer. Mm -hmm. So one of the other things I'm excited about is the, you know, with Whole Foods and, and these other national chains, it can be really hard for a new manufacturer or producer uh, of a good product to get their products in those stores. And if they can't get them in the store, then their distribution is always going to be limited. But from what I understand, you're going to be able to carry a much broader selection of products, including just products that 
that are really maybe oriented towards a, a more niche audience uh, that, and for that reason, wouldn't be carried in like a national chain like Whole Foods. And so, of course, I'm thinking of paleo type of products that are you know, really low in sugar and, and, and they're really like uh, great for us paleo folks, but might not uh, do well in, in Costco or something. And right. I love the idea that those sorts of products are going to be available at, right. at a discount. Yeah, yeah, that, that's definitely our focus. I mean, I, I uh, we're, we, we, you know, we are going to be merchandising uh, in, with increasing depth towards some really important niches like paleo, and really making sure that you know one of the things that I think has probably gotten in the way of Whole Foods is their their whole decision making supply chain is very decentralized, so it makes it very very hard for them to have to to support smaller brands in a in a powerful way the way that we can that the, on the flip side you know a small brand is not going to be able to survive in the Costco ecosystem both because it costs too much money to play in the game right. and and two that to your point that you know a niche product that's focused say on the paleo community won't achieve the economies of scale that Costco needs to put it into their supply chain right. so we we kind of fit right in between those two we have a really you know nimble central planning process that allows us to, you know, identify those, those brands that fill in key categories and, and satisfy key interest groups and needs while, you know, really supporting the brand through the process. Mm -hmm. Well, I think what you're doing is fantastic. You know, full disclosure here, I'm not a current investor in Thrive, but I'm definitely considering it. It's pretty rare that an opportunity comes along like this that is, you know, in total alignment with my my values, my social mission, uh, and and the kind of work that I'm doing in the world, and I want to do everything I can to support Thrive, uh, whether that's being you know actually investing in the company or just helping to get the word out and you know sharing it with with you all, my listeners and readers. Um, and to that end, we're going to be doing a, a contest. This podcast, I think, will come out on a, on a Wednesday. And the contest started the, the previous Monday. We're giving away, I think it's 20 one-year free one-year memberships. Is that That's right, right. Gennar? That's right. Yep. And uh, because, like I said, I just I I'm I really want to get the word out about this. And I mean, for me, when I signed up for my membership, just knowing that I was, you know, in that process, that another membership was being created for a low-income family. I mean, that that was enough for me to get me to sign up. I mean, it's I believe in that kind of change. I want to contribute to that kind of change in the world. And yeah, it's a great you know bonus that I get these products at thirty to fifty percent off. But for me, that that alone would have been enough to do it because I I think we need more of that in the world. So. If you want to participate in this, you want to check out Thrive, and uh, which I highly recommend, and see you know what kind of savings you can get on these types of products, and you want to enter the contest to see if you can win a, a, a one-year membership uh, for free, head to chriscresser.com slash thrive, T-H-R-I-V-E, and you still got a couple of days. I think the contest ends at, on Friday at midnight. So uh, if you're listening to this, you still got a couple of days to enter, plenty of time. And then, you know, if you want, you can go ahead and sign up for a trial. As Gunnar said, it's there's no obligation. Uh, you get a free 30 days to check everything out, see if it's going to work for you. And then if, if it doesn't, of course, you can just cancel. So again, Gunnar, thanks for coming on. Really, really excited about what you're doing. And you know, stay in touch and let us know how we can support you. Yeah. Thank you both so much. I mean, this, this really, you know, exactly what we're doing here now is, you know, the macro of what, you know, we need to really get the word out and at an individual level, you know, we just really, if, if you're excited about this social mission and you're listening to this podcast and, you know, please tell your friends about it and, and, uh, you know, give us a chance to earn your trust. And we really appreciate everybody's help. This is a really, really exciting opportunity. All right, Steve. How many how many chocolate bars have you bought? <laughs> well, I didn't buy any yet. But, <laughs> right. uh, You've got them. I, I will say that I, I'm blown away by the discounts on the like the the cleaning stuff and the laundry stuff. So you know, I, I think that stuff's great, and it, it's hard to get that stuff ever on a discount. You can you can shop around for chocolate bars on sale. It's just rather annoying if you don't get your, you know the brand you want. But um, no, I I really appreciate what you're doing here, Gennar, and I think this is 
something that everybody should just uh, sign up and check out because I think once they once they just start looking a little bit, they're going to realize how much of what's in their house or or maybe they wish they could switch over to to certain cleaning products, but um, haven't yet. And so I think just signing up and just spending a little bit of time, next thing you know, uh, you might be saving a lot of money every month. Yeah, I mean... We used cloth diapers early on with Sylvie, but we kind of fell off the wagon a, a little later. <laughs> and, and I, I hate to admit, but when I think about the money we could have saved just on diapers alone, it's it's pretty staggering. <laughs> Thanks again, Gunnar, and we yeah. wish you wish you the best of luck. And we'll be, you know, definitely love to have you back on in a year or so, and maybe have a recap and see, Thank see you. how it's gone. Thank you. Thank you, guys. It's really, really uh, an honor to uh, have your support. Bye, everyone. We'll see you next week. Yeah, thanks, everyone, for listening.